Hi, my name is Peter Wellington and I'm a Commonwealth Registered Marriage Celebrant. I'm coming to you today on the YouTubes from the courtyard of my townhouse in Nunda. And this is Peter Wellington Weddings Talks, What is a Tabletop Wedding? There are several different ways that you can get married. Uh, most people think that your options are limited to getting married in a church, a civil ceremony, including elopements, or you can marry at the registry of births, deaths, and marriages in your state. I'm um, here to tell you today that there is, in fact, another common option, which is a tabletop or legal-only ceremony. A legal marriage uh, in a civil ceremony uh, requires only five sentences, three of which that are said by the celebrant and called the monotum, and one by each of the parties to the marriage. Um, usually, there's also only uh, five forms, a notice of intention to marry, a declaration of no legal impediment, and then, of course, the three marriage certificates. The Marriage Act, believe it or not, requires nothing more than these things. The rest of the 25 minutes of a standard civil ceremony is made up of what the couple wants to include in their wedding ceremony. Um, I'll do a video uh, about the legal process of getting married and what the requirements are in a future episode of Peter Wellington Weddings Talks video. But what you need to know for now is that it's really only these five sentences that are absolutely required to be in the marriage ceremony. So what if you don't want any of the fluff at all? Well, we can do a legals only ceremony where we fill out the paperwork properly. I say my three sentences, you say your two sentences, and we sign the certificates. Boom, you're married. I uh, do do these legals only ceremonies, uh, particularly in cases where you are going to go and get married overseas, where it may not be the same legal process and you want your marriage to be in Australia, and you do a commitment ceremony overseas, uh, in the case where, you know, you just kind of want to cut the bullshit and get married. So, you know, there's a lot of reasons for doing just legals only ceremonies. But look, I'm a fan of doing a little bit more than, you know, the, the legals. Cause you know, like I said before, it, it, all that's required for the legals only is five sentences. And there's never gonna be a situation where three of us meet, say five sentences, sign a few bits of paper, and then go our separate, separate ways. I prefer to do mini ceremonies where many of the elements of a traditional wedding take place. Uh, we just do it in a bit of a compressed format. Uh, you know, so what is a tabletop wedding? Uh, when I do them, my version of a tabletop wedding is uh, a little bit more involved than many celebrants, uh, legals only, uh, but I do more of a registry style wedding. Um, you know, the purpose for this is not that I'm particularly trying to compete with the registry of births, deaths and marriages. I'm just trying to provide a viable alternative if, um, you know, you don't want to go through the process of having the full blown ceremony, eloping isn't particularly for you, and you don't like the option of going to the registry office. So, you know, broadly what happens in my tabletop weddings is I'll come and join you for breakfast, lunch, or dinner, um, you know, that you can have, you know, with just your family, or, you know, it can be a 40 or 50 person dinner. Um, you know, it's really up to you. And when you're ready and your guests are ready, you know, we can do any or all of the following, which is, you know, I'll get the room's attention. Um, we'll do a small introduction and say some nice things about you. Uh, I will say the legal wording, those three sentences, which I have to say, which is called the monotum. Uh, you can then make personalised vows to each other, then say the legal minimum vows, exchange rings, kiss and start the celebration. Um, look, I really love the idea of this uh, tabletop wedding over uh, dinner as, you know, like I said, as a viable alternative to a registry office wedding. Um, you know, what I encourage clients to do is book a function room at a restaurant uh, either in the city or in their area. Um, and, you know, invite your, the guests that you would like to have and, you know, just sort of say, well, pay for dinner or whatever. Whatever, um, and you know, just cut out the ceremony and have the reception. So in in the middle of it, you know, I'll, I'll rock up and and you know, I'll obviously bring my PA and those sorts of things if it's required. Um, we'll get everyone's attention and marry you in the middle of the party. Um, I think it's a really great alternative for people that don't want to have the ceremony. And you know, particularly is you don't really need to compromise on any of the traditional elements of the wedding if you really want them. Um, we can, you can even enter to music as if you're walking down an aisle if you would really like as well. So look, what I wanted to tell you is that this option exists if a traditional wedding ceremony isn't for you. Um, and if you're looking for a celebrant that'll give you options on how to make your day your day, um, I'd really love to hear from you. Um, I really love working with people doing things that are outside the box, uh, just as much as I love doing a full blown ceremony. So if this sounds like you, please do get in touch via the comment section below, any of my social media platforms or make an inquiry on my website. So have a great day and I'm looking forward to chatting all things weddings with you again soon.